Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Sagittarius out there. This is going to be your Gemini Full Moon Lunar Eclipse reading. Now, eclipses are times when cosmic energies push for outdated, unhealthy, karmic endings of timelines and connections. There are times when we experience dramatic shifts when the sun and the moon meet, but give us the power to expand onto our higher path. Eclipses bring an intense buildup of old emotions, energy, and in many ways can be described as a massively intensified full moon. Full moons are for releasing, and this Gemini energy encourages the collective to get in touch with our needs, evaluate our beliefs using fact, and communicate more effectively to make the changes that we've been longing for, that we've been needing. This epic full beaver moon lunar eclipse highlights the Gemini Sagittarius axis, and we're, being, we're specifically being called to find balance between our beliefs, ideals, our need for freedom, and our communication skills. So in short, the goal is to be as objective as we can, reflect on our feelings, and plan on the best way to communicate what you've learned to those around you. So it's important that we remember to be gentle with ourselves and keep in mind that full moon eclipses are potent and four times as energetically triggering as a normal full moon. It may be extra challenging for my Geminis, Virgos, Pisces, and of course you guys, my Sagittarians. You may be feeling a lot more pressure, but it also may bring a little bit of sparkle into our lives as well. Okay, Sagittarius, so let's, um, before I start, I'm just going to ask that you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also check out the description box for um, information on how to get a private reading or to get your hands on the decks that I'm using. All right, so let's go ahead and invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear for Sagittarius for this full moon lunar eclipse. Messages for Sagittarius, please, for this full moon lunar eclipse. Wow, you guys are coming out as the world, completing a cycle. Good. All right, so we get the Page of Wands, the Ten of Cups. All right, we get the Ten of Wands. That's your energy, Sag. We get the King of Crystals. So interestingly enough, Scorpio got the same card here. Some of you guys might be Scorpio Sag Cuspers. If so, do check out the Scorpio reading. Beautiful energy in that reading. Three of Crystals, okay, and we get the Four of Crystals. Interesting. Okay, overall energy, Akashic Records. Wow, Sag, this is a highly spiritual energy. This is about ascension. This is about leveling up. And you get the world and you get Akashic Records. Sagittarius, you guys are spiritual warriors, spiritual powerhouses. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Four of Swords in reverse. You guys have been working on healing something. Many of you guys um, have, have been carrying around a dis-ease, something that may have been passed down to you from generation to generation. What I'm getting here, many of you guys may have been doing like shamanic journeying to go back in time and to figure out what that is and healing it. And it's worked. It is absolutely working. Um, this may be, again, something that's been passed down generation to generation. You are healed. You are your... your purpose here and this lifetime is to heal that for future generations because we get the Ten of Cups, which is a card of family. And then we also get the Ten of Wands. You are releasing, you are shedding burdens, past heartaches, heartbreaks. Again, it could be, I'm really picking up on a lot of past life energy here for you guys. So again, you guys are showing up as the world. You're completing a major cycle. Look at her crown chakra is completely activated with the pyramid. You guys have access to cosmic intelligence. You're tapped into source energy. Um, for those of you who identify as star seeds, again, you guys are downloading these new light codes. This eclipse energy is a perfect time to do that. Trust that you are on this journey and trust that this magic is happening. Okay, and that you are a conduit for healing energy and, um, and wisdom. 
and, and wisdom. I, I love this. All right, so the truth of your relationships are how you're projecting yourself to the world right now, Page of Wands. Some people may not quite understand the journey that you're on, Sag, and this is because you have access access to information that many others don't. I feel like this is your great awakening and it's sort of a culmination of this process of this timeline that we've been on and you guys are leveling up in a big way. But others are seeing you as, um, I feel like there's been a major change in either your appearance or your approach or even you know being quite gregarious and social. Um, as a fire sign, like really sort of feeding off of that other energy that you might have, um, you might have sort of made some sort of change that are making people wonder, okay, what's going on? Many of you might have been, you know, working towards a certain career or a certain relationship or had a very sort of, a very sort of, um, you know, obvious trajectory in your life or in your life path. And I feel like many of you have gone through a deep awakening that's made you reevaluate and change that um change what it is you're doing your course of action and that's because of the universe that's because of having access to the akashic records being tapped into a divine cosmic intelligence that many other people aren't so with this page of wands energy i'm not getting that you've lost confidence but i'm getting that people are seeing this this abrupt change in you and it's probably at a deep cellular level so it's probably even physical but the way that you interact the way that you do things all of that is kind of changing and I do feel like it's halting for some people okay um, but what's blocking you we have the ten of cups so the ten of cups is happiness it's love it's fulfillment it's completing a cycle but what I'm getting more than anything Sag this has to do with family because down here below I'm sort of seeing this Pleiadian energy the seven sisters community soul tribe soulmates um, and I do feel like you're releasing and I'm going to read it with this ten of wands energy you are shedding and releasing burdens heartaches, dis-ease, so energetic dis-ease that's been passed down to you from generation to generation, um, that, 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 that this is your divine purpose here to do that. Okay, but I do feel like this Ten of Cups, um, you you still are concerned about your family and your soul tribe. Not to say that you aren't, okay, or that or that when you go through an awakening like this, that you you forget about people or you abandon people. But there's something, you know, I feel like this is this is there's some sort of uh, shock or disparity or disconnect with you know the people around you at this time and I feel like that's hard for you because I think you normally you know you really do um you love that social activity you love that interaction but um what you're going through is much deeper and much bigger than you know holiday parties or than what maybe people around you can quite understand and I feel like that's a little bit difficult for you so again remember that you are on a very unique path um, and it doesn't mean that, you know, when we go through an awakening, other people may not understand what's exactly happening to us. We might even have to come to terms and suss out what's going on within us, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to separate from people, you know, or this, or this disconnect is forever. Okay. Oftentimes we do come full circle and spirit is saying that with the cups, you know, because we go through an awakening process and we might be somewhere around here, but eventually we do come back around. Okay. And um, many of you might be finding it difficult to either spend time with people that you used to spend time with, you know, to share in the activities that they that you guys would do together if they're sort of lower level, lower vibrational activities. So whether that's like partying a lot or whether that's eating, you know, crappy food or junk food or low vibrational foods, because as we go through this ascension process, our path becomes more and more narrow. So what we can, what our bodies tolerate becomes less and less okay so it's like we can't tolerate low vibrational energy and energy comes in lots of ways shapes and forms people conversations tv shows music um, foods that we eat, you know, that sort of thing. Okay. So, you know, spirit does want you to know that there may be a little bit of a disconnect here. You might be feeling a little bit unhappy or, or maybe disconnected from your soul tribe or your partner or your friends, but that this will come back around. Okay. What you're doing is you're completing a very difficult cycle. And I feel like this is definitely related to your family, to your DNA. 
Um, it's, a, it's a deep change at a cellular level. And so when we're shedding this, um, you know, it's not an easy process. Okay. But you're doing it, you're doing it well. Okay. And even you with the page of wands in reverse, you might feel a little bit like, you know, whoa, what's going on? A little bit halted, a little bit nervous, um, a little bit um, concerned. Some of you might be feeling these ascension symptoms, which come in, you know, it can be ringing in the ears. It can be, you know, aches and pains. It can be fatigue. Um, you know, it can come in a lot of different ways, shapes and forms. And spirit just wants you to know with the king of crystals, what you can do within, nurture yourself, give yourself the time that you need, find stability and balance in nature and making sure you do your daily practice, your meditation, your prayers, setting your intentions, um, make sure that you exercise, that you take care of yourself. You know, the king of pentacles is about clean eating, about clean living, really matching your energy. Don't do anything um, you know, like take very good care of yourself because what you're doing is major. Okay. It's a major leveling up for you, Sag. And you know, the King of Pentacles, he sets his boundaries. And with the 10 of wands, this is Sagittarius energy. You know, somebody who always says yes, who didn't set their boundaries that took on too much, maybe took on other people's energies. Okay. That you're much more sensitive now that you cannot take on other people's problems. You cannot say yes to everyone, even though you would like to, but you, you can't right now. Okay, the nature of what you're going through isn't going to allow you to. And the King of Crystals, he knows that. Okay, his heart light is turned on, but he also knows that what his, you know, his task here or what he's doing, what he's being given, um, what he's going through is much bigger than that. And so he is going to have to sort of say no and set boundaries and take care of himself. Okay, and that's you guys. What you need to know, three of crystals, it may feel like and not everything is coming together for you. Um, they're showing me the two of pentacles since this card is in reverse. Um, and it's like you you might feel like you're balancing a lot. You have a very important decision to make. Now, we can balance. We can try to do it all on our own um, you know, for a certain amount of time, but it's not sustainable energy. So there will be a decision that needs to be made in order for everything to come together for you. But it is. With the four of crystals, this is about creating stability, the four of pentacles. Um, but it's also, I love this because this is somebody who's been sort of in this scorpionic energy, which we're coming out of, and we've moved into Sagittarius sun. Okay. And so I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing somebody who's hitting rock bottom. Okay. Who may have fallen, hit the bottom, um, really leaning into these deeper emotions, doing some shadow work, but guess what? All of that was done so that you could be cracked open, let the light in. And now you're being, you have access to this divine cosmic intelligence that other people don't. This is creating the new you. This is creating stability in your life. Um, this is either come, you know, this is something that, um, that you knew that you needed to, or you know that this is the most important task for you at this time. Okay. This is an extremely spiritual reading, you guys. Um, and you know, it may feel like things aren't coming together for you, but they really truly are. They really truly are. Okay. Additional messages for my Sagittarians out there, please. You get guide, a guide, mentor, a trustworthy ally, 38, breaking down to an 11. So again, this is somebody who um, I feel like many of you guys are doing something along the lines of shamanic journeying. You guys are doing lots of meditations. Some of you guys are, are being um, shown who your guides, which ascended masters are working with you. You need to trust this. For others of you, there is a mentor, there is a teacher that is coming into your life, okay? So when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And this is somebody who's gonna really help you maneuver or has really helped you maneuver this ascension process, okay? Because this is major. This is a major leveling up on a spiritual level. And I and I, you may not feel it right now. Um, you might be a little bit hesitant, a little bit nervous because things have changed for you like on a very deep cellular level. But Spirit wants you to know everything is going to work out and this is going to create um, success and up-leveling in all parts of your life, whether that's in your relationships, you know, romantic or otherwise, or family, okay, or business partnerships. But I also see a considerable amount of stability 
Some of you guys are starting businesses where you're a healer, okay, where you guys either read cards or you work with Reiki or acupuncture or crystal healing, angelic healing, um, or maybe even, you know, understanding that your, your job here is to heal and to help others, okay? It's a beautiful energy, but I do feel like um, that you are being shown or you will be put on the path of somebody that is going to be able to help you, okay? help you get through this even when times are a little bit tough okay that are gonna and also just sort of validate you know because with this page of wands in reverse it's somebody who does feel a little bit hesitant um maybe you know i don't know how to channel this energy i don't know what to do you know with these light codes that i've been given so it's interesting because it, the last couple of nights sagittarius i've woken up um with very clear messages from my guides and I was in, in the midst, and I'm not, not going to go into all of it because it's kind of personal, but doing a lot of sort of psychic surgery while I've been sleeping, and I wake up with these very clear, distinct, beautiful messages. Um, you know, a previous version of myself wouldn't know exactly what to make of these messages or would ignore them, but they've been very powerful, very spiritual, very mystical messages that every, every day I've woken up this week, you know, um, you know, I've had these, these beautiful messages, you know, the last thing that my guides have been saying to me and, um, you know, without my personal healer and my mentor, you know, I wouldn't have been able to in the past be able to work these out for myself and understand the magnitude of what I've been given during the dream space. Now that's my experience, but I feel like metaphorically you guys will be able to relate to that on some level. Okay. So And I do feel here as well, we have these two whispering. Some of you guys, this may be, um, you know, this, I'm not getting like a huge love reading off of this, but we do have the 10 of cups, which can be about soulmates and we have the universe. And I do have number 11 for those of you on a twin flame journey, this may be you coming into union, or it could be that you guys are meeting in the dream space because I do have these two people mirroring each other like twins. But I also get that this is, these are your guides. These are your angels that are tapping you on the shoulder, whether that's using numerology, looking at the clock at 1111. Um, you know, we also have 1010. That might be something that you guys are also seeing with some frequency, the number 1010. Um, whatever it may be, um, definitely signs and synchronicities in nature with numbers through music. Okay. Um, those that's definitely you getting the guidance that you're looking for, especially if you're starting to doubt it or feel a little bit uncomfortable, you know, whenever we, we level up, you know, sometimes we get these major upgrades to our psychic abilities. So if you can read other people's thoughts or you see other people's auras at first, it can be a little bit daunting. Okay. And you can't, and you might, some of you I'm getting might be a little bit worried or nervous to tell others. Okay, like, oh, I dreamt about that. <laughs> oh, I know that already. You know, whatever, however your abilities are being heightened, um, just embrace it, step into them, lean into them. And there may be somebody here that can help you also sort of process, integrate what this ascension that you're going through. All right, and then we get the crane bag, sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, and choice beautiful. So I do feel, um, Sag, that this is actually more than anything. I feel like you've been given this gift um, and you've been given something that is extremely sacred. So again, they want me to talk about your upgrades, your psychic abilities. Um, yeah, you've been given this sacred ocean medicine. Many of you guys are coming into the realization or the understanding that you are powerful healers. I do keep seeing in my mind's eye the temperance card, which is your major arcana, which is an earth angel, that you guys are earth angels. This reading is a confirmation of that. Also, the, um, the iris is the archetype of that the temperance card is based on. It's also about bridging the gap between the material world and the spiritual. So your prayers are being answered, but you also have this divine connection unlike anybody else right now, Sag. And this eclipse energy is coming to allow you to tap into that energy. Um, and then clutter and declutter. So you're getting something new. So you've been clearing out or you're being urged to clear out the space for these new gifts and for these psych psychic upgrades. Okay. And spirit wants you to remember, you know, the choice is yours. Um, you know, if you, if for example, you, you've come into, 
um, you have a heightened ability or awareness to, for example, read other people's thoughts or hear what they're thinking, that's a choice. If it's driving you crazy, you know, you, you can turn that off and on. It may be difficult at first with this page of wands energy. Okay. And this is just a metaphor. It's not going to be for all of you. Um, but just metaphorically, you can turn that off and on if this is something you want to pursue or not, because this is heavy. I mean, this is heavy hitting big spiritual jobs here, Sag. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what comes through with your numerology guidance cards. All right, you get moderation. Look at that. That is your card. That is your card. Many of you guys are earth angels. This is number 14 is the card of temperance. Many of you guys, it's exactly what I just said. This is confirmation. This is your energy. You're coming into alignment. You've had some major psychic um, upgrades, but not even just psychic. I feel like energetic upgrades, access to divine cosmic intelligence. And many of you might not even quite know exactly what to do with it or how powerful this really is, but you're going to find out. This eclipse energy is allowing you to declutter, make way for something beautiful that's coming into your life. And we get communication number 33. So I did, I do kind of keep seeing the hermit energy and with a mentor, a trustworthy ally, a guide, 33 is the master teacher number. So again, the student becomes the teacher or when the student is ready, the master arrives. This is your energy. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm getting, they're showing me Mr. Miyagi, you know, they're showing me wax on, wax off. Sag, you guys are ready to embrace this. Many of you guys are stepping into energy as teachers. And what I said in the introduction about needing to communicate this wisdom that you've been given okay is also part of your uh, is part of your task here um, or, or part of your purpose so really paying attention to how you're going to communicate what you've learned and to whom and being able to do it in the most objective way possible through moderation not being extremes not being too impulsive um, understanding not everybody is in the same place that you are on the same path so finding the best way to communicate this healing energy and this wisdom that you've been granted access to is going to be a major part of your journey and a major part of this eclipse season for you. Okay. All right. Whoops. All right. So we get the storyteller. Oh my goodness. Intention. I am the narrator of my life. Many of my Saggies out there, you guys have been through some very difficult situations whether it's through loss, whether it's through abuse, whether it's through addiction, um, whatever it might be, what you have been through and what you are being gifted, granted, you needs to be communicated to others. Some of you guys are going to be writing a book. Some of you guys are going to be become like big brothers or big sisters. Others of you are going to become sponsors for people who struggle with drugs or alcohol or maybe even working with people who have been, I keep getting with domestic violence or abuse because you have overcome this. Your experience along with tapping into this deep cosmic intelligence that you're being granted as a healer, as a teacher, this is your life purpose, Sag. You are coming into this. This is your soul's journey. And many of you are starting to understand that. And it's like the world needs your story. Okay, the world needs your story. Number 33 is also Virgo energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo, a Virgo in your chart. Or you just sort of might be in, in this such an intense um, trajectory right now or your life is on this very sort of intense spiritual trajectory that um, you know that you guys might be taking a, on a little bit more asceticism um, rejecting you know sort of technology and maybe not spending as much time with people and again that narrowing path because you guys this is powerful stuff that's going on a powerful purge okay there's also a very powerful purge here all right, and we get the Moonstone Star, Passion. I am entering a portal of euphoric love. Yeah, Sagittarius, you guys are definitely, um, I feel like you guys are definitely, um, you know, with the Akashic Records, with the Shamanic Journeying, I'm getting that you guys are definitely, um, 
how do I say this? Moving between worlds. You have access. It's like the, it's like, you know, on the 31st, we always sort of have the thinning of the veil. I feel like this is becoming a regular occurrence to you that you can walk between worlds. Many of you guys are tapping into your collective. So when you're in meditation or you're in healing sessions, that you're able to travel back to where you've come from. Many of you guys are also having access to the angelic realms. Some of you are doing journeying to the upper worlds and to the lower worlds, but you're just easily moving between worlds. You're able to move between that 3D and 5D energy even higher. And this is this this these portals are open to you at this time. Okay, so let's this card wants to come out and we get Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Yeah, and I feel like this is coming out because of that page of wands energy. There might be a little bit of hesitation because this is all new. This is also really intense. This is like mind, you know, this is mind blowing type stuff that you're you're being given access to. And on this ascension journey, many of you guys are coming into the information that your star seeds, your collective may have been contacting you through messages, through synchronicities, through dreams. Many of you also might also be, you know, on a twin flame or a soulmate journey and you're understanding that your union isn't just for you to experience euphoric love, but there's an ascension and there's this beautiful, um, there's this beautiful, um, uh, leveling up that takes place also for the collective when you guys come together. All right. I'm, I haven't been taking three cards for everyone, but I feel like you guys have multiple energies that are supporting you on this journey. So let's go ahead and see what else comes through. Okay. You guys get Krishna devotion, trust your spiritual guidance. Yes. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Yeah. Wow. Trust your spiritual guidance. Again, this, we get the guide card, trust what you guys are hearing, trust what's happening in the dream space, trust, you know, what you're seeing. I know some of you are like, I don't want to because that, you know, people will want to lock me up and throw away the key if I tell them, you know, that I've been working with Mary Magdalene, for example, teacher awakens. I can't make this stuff up. You guys, you have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Wow. Absolutely. We're, we're getting repeating messages now, but you guys have three major heavy hitters here. Krishna. Okay. Mary Magdalene. You have something important to share communication, your story, what you've been through, what you've learned, the divine cosmic you know, intelligence that you now have access, access to follow the inner calling. Don't stop. Even if it's a little bit scary. Okay. Don't let anything stop you. Wow. Sag. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you found clarity and guidance in these messages. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.